There will be some drier times, okay. I think, on Thursday and even Friday, too. But today, it's certainly one day that we've got to watch out for several rounds of rainfall, one this morning and then one again later on this afternoon. Now, what happens this afternoon actually depends on round one and how strong it is. That one would likely be the one that contains the thunderstorms and chance of severe weather as well. Keep the umbrellas out. We'll need it through Thursday through Friday and into the weekend. Our last little bit of calm weather sort of coming to a conclusion, a very fitting end to the beginning of the day. Notice that temperatures will likely hover right around 57 to 60 degrees here or there. So it's not an overly warm day. Yesterday we had temperatures right around 70 to 75 degrees. A lot of that heat, some of the milder air will feed into our storm system. So as this system moves towards the north and east, it draws in more warmer air and that draws in the chance of thunderstorms like we see across across upstate New York, Pennsylvania, and even near the center of the storm across the UP of Michigan. For now, though, just a few high clouds still streaming in. It is dry for the next two to three hours or so. Let's time out when the wet weather arrives. Here's nine o'clock this morning through Nashua, through Lawrence, just to the north of the Route 2 corridor. That's plain old rain. There will be thunderstorms coming down the line, so please scan the QR code here. This gives you the latest information from the entire First Alert weather team, which, by the way, should you lose power or TV signal today due to the, to, due to the severe thunderstorms, you can still keep tabs of those alerts that come to your phone. When do we see that chance of severe thunderstorms today? Here's 9 o'clock. Rain and heavy rain and bouts of thunderstorms through Battleboro, Keene, Nashua, 10 to 10.30 this morning. And that's round one that moves on out. And we see a clearing right around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The travel forecast, I think, downpours mid-morning. It's afternoon thunderstorms. And this is also containing the potential of gusty winds at about 40 to 55 miles an hour and hailstones closer to an inch in diameter. Let's look at the second half of the day. What depends on round two or what happens in round two depends on round one, sort of like the Celtics. How healthy do the Celtics stay in round one that gets them to round two? or well, round two of storms coming in depends on how healthy the atmosphere is is after the first wave and it seems like it does recover quite well. This is four o'clock now. Isolated strong cells that push just off the south coast through Cape Cod at about 730 to 8 and then that would be the end of our heaviest rainfall threat. But notice Thursday also has a chance of showers much cooler into Friday at about 52 degrees on Friday is all we're going to get for a high temperature. Mother's Day looks a little bit better in the forecast than it did yesterday. Hopefully that trend remains to 